dear students in the last video we had started the new chapter that is ratio and proportion and we had already done the first four objectives of this chapter so today's video is going to be about the fifth objective of this chapter so let's get started so here we will start with the first example find the mean proportional to 4 and 36 now students here we are given with the two numbers only and we have to find the mean proportional to the 4 and 36. So first of all, we will write them like this, 4 ratio. And you know that this one will be the first and this one will be the last value. So it will be first and this will be last because we have to find a mean. So which, which are the mean value? This second and third are called the mean value, right? So that mean first and fourth values given. So you will write here on the place of first, that is fourth. On place of fourth, you will write here 36. Now we have to find the mean proportion. So let us suppose that mean proportion is x. So on the values of mean, so you will write here x and x. All right. So here we will write product of means is equal to product of extremes. So that means second multiplied by third is equal to first multiplied by fourth. You can skip this step or you can write it as it is. So now product of means means what? x multiplied by x. So you will write here x multiplied by x. And product of extremes means 4 multiplied by 36. So you will write here 4 multiplied by 36. Now x multiplied x is what? x square. So students be careful about this. It is not 2x. It will be x square. So x raised to power 1, x raised to power 1. That means x raised to power 2. All right. Now. You know that if we need to find the value of x and we can shift the square to the next side, to the right hand side and it will change into the square root, right? So now if you will put a square root here, 4 into 36, what will happen? We can find the square root of 4 and 36 as well. So 4, we can break it as 2 into 2 and 36 can be break it into 6 multiplied by 6, right? So now... If we are finding here the square root of these two values, so we can take one common out like 2 multiplied by 6. So the value of x will be 12. So that means the mean proportion to 4 and 36 will be 12. Right? So now move to the next example. Find the third proportion to 4 and 8. Now, students, uh, we have to be careful about the statement. So find this third proportion to 4 ratio 8. Third proportional to 4 and 8. Right. So now how can we write? So first of all, we have to learn that they are saying that third proportion. But they are asking for third proportion. But the value and the position of third proportion will be fourth always. Right. Because we can we can repeat the mean value. Means value can be same. So the position of third proportion will be the fourth. Right? So here we will write four and we can repeat that value. That is mean value can be same. So you will write here eight ratio eight and the third proportional position will be fourth. So you will write here x. Right? So you have to be careful about this. So whenever they are asking for third proportion, the Position will always be fourth of the third proportion and the mean value can be repeated. So we will have 4 ratio 8 ratio or proportion 8 ratio x. All right. So now you can see these values are called the means value and these are called the extremes values. So you will write here product of means is equal to product of extremes. Means means second minus second multiply by third and extreme means first multiply by Fourth. So you will put the values here. Product of means means 8 multiplied by 8. Product of extremes means 4 multiplied by x. All right. So now we need the value of x. So we don't need this 4. So 4 can be shift to the left hand side and it will change into divide. Now 4 1 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. So we are left with only 8 into 2. That will be 16. So 16 is the value of x. So we can write here. Therefore, third proportional is equals to 16. Right? So now move to the next example. Now here first of all we will read the statement. Find the fourth proportional to 10, 30, 6. Now they are asking for fourth proportional. Fourth proportional that means you know that the position of uh, fourth value that is extreme value. Right? 
so first is given that is 10 ratio second one is also given 30 and third one is also given 6 and that mean we have to find this fourth proportional right so on the place of fourth proportional you will write here x because we need to find this fourth proportion so you will write here x so now you know that these values are means values and these are extremes so you will write here product of means is equal to product of extremes right so you will write here extremes so product of means means 30 multiplied by 6 product of extremes means 10 multiplied by x so now you don't need this 10 here so you will shift it to the left hand side and it will change into divide so last zeros can be cut so we are left with only 3 multiplied by 6 that will be 18 so 18 is equals to x or you can write x is equals to 18 so therefore fourth proportional is equals to 18 right now move to next example show that 3 comma 9 comma 5 are in continued proportion or not we have to check that these given numbers are in continued proportion or not. So, what we will do, we will write here 3 ratio 9 and here you can see that there are four, 3 numbers are given. Fourth one is not given. So, what we will do, we can repeat the mean value, right? Because we have to check that whether they are in continued proportion or not. Alright? So, what we will do, we will repeat here means values. So, you will write here 3 ratio 9, proportion 9 ratio 5. So these are called means value and these are called extremes value. So now you will write here because we have to check that whether they are in continued proportion or not. So you will write here proportion is continued if product of means is equal to product of extremes. So product of means means 9 multiplied by 9. Product of extremes means 3 multiplied by 5. So 9 nines are 81 and 3 fives are 15. So they are unequal. Right? They are not equal. Therefore 3 comma 9 comma 5 are not in continued proportion all right so now let's move to the next example now here is example number five so uh, just read the statement if four comma x comma 36 are in continued proportion find the value of x now they are already in continued proportion now we have to find the value of x now how can we find the value of x so you know that first second and third that means these values are given to us now fourth one is not given so how, what we can do in continued proportion the means values are same right so that means this second value we can repeat here so we will write here four four ratio x proportion x ratio 36 right so now you know that these are means values and these are extremes values right so we will write here product of means is equals to product of extremes now product of means means what x multiplied by x product of extremes means what 4 multiplied by 36 and x multiplying x will be x square 4 multiplied by 36 now if you will shift this square to the right hand side it will change into square root and the square root of 4 will be 2 and square root of 36 will be 6 so the answer will be x is equals to 12 so here we got the value of x which is equals to 12 now move to the next example if six books cost rupees 615 how much do 10 books cost now here we have example which can be done in two ways right there are two ways to do this example first one is the unitary method with the help of unitary method we can uh, solve this question second one is that with this method product of means is equal to product of extremes right so, because we are doing ratio and proportion, so we will choose this method only. So, you can do with unitary method as well. So, here we will start with our, this method that is product of means is equal to product of extremes. Alright. So, now, first of all, you can see the statement if 6 book costs rupees 615. Now, that means 6 books are given, right? 6 books are given and the cost of these books are 615. How much do 10 books, 10 books are given and we have to find the cost, right? So we can write them in the proportion like this, book ratio cost, proportion book ratio cost. Now, uh, first of all, books are given us as 6 and the cost is 615. Next one is 10 books are given and cost is not given to us that we will assume as X, right? 
So now these are means values and these are extremes values. So we will write here product of means is equals to product of extremes. So put the values here product of means means 615 multiplied by 10. Product of extremes means 6 multiplied by x. Now it means you have to shift this 6 to the left hand side and it will change into divide. So when you will divide it, you can cut them. So 2 3 is a 6, 2 5 is a 10. On 3 table, 3 1 is a 3. On 3 table, 615 can be cut on 205. So you will have 205 multiplied by 5. So you will have 1025 which is equals to x. So you can do the calculation as well on the right hand side. Right? So like this you will have the value of x is equals to 1025 that is 1025. So therefore cost of 10 books will be rupees 1025. So students these were very easy examples. So I hope all of you are able to do the related homework that we have sent you in your snap homework. But before starting your homework, students, please go through the YouTube links because all these links are very helpful for you all to understand these type of concepts in a better way. Thank you.